Welcome to the 283rd session of Legal Empowerment Through Interaction Lecture Series. Today, we are concentrating <coughs> on a specific section and a very specific topic. The topic being Section 27 of the Evidence Act, more misconstrued than comprehended. We have none other than our uh, uh, the very backbone of Little Sir, that is Ram Kumar Sir, uh, to address on the topic. And we are privileged with the presence of Justice Ramakrishnan, sir, and all of you wonderful participants who have been part and parcel of this journey. So, without wasting any time, may I directly go to Justice Ram, Ram Kumar, sir. Please, sir. Thank you, Mr. Shah. Good evening, friends. I have a voice impairment, but I am taking it as a challenge without surrendering myself to the disability. <clears throat> I will be touching only two aspects of Section 27. One, as to what exactly is the fact discovered? Fact discovered you will find twice in section 27 of the evidence. What exactly is fact discovered? And secondly, whether the need for a panjanama, what is the need, if any, for a panjanama while uh, recording a 27 recovery, while making a 27 recovery? These two aspects alone I am touching. All other aspects, there are uh, innumerable webinars available in the YouTube. And uh, the purpose of this webinar is not to undermine the judges concerned, but only to ensure that the streams of justice flow neat and clean. Merely because certain verdicts do contain some overstatement of law, it does not mean that the judges involved are bad. I am also no exception in rendering wrong judgments. Me, rather, rather, me too is not infallible. The, judge in, the judges involved are all great judges who have made their notable and uh, invaluable contributions towards the development of law. The only caveat which I would uh, wish to add is that while making a judgment reportable, judges should think twice, if not 10 times, to ensure that the propositions of law laid down reflect the correct legal position or else it may set a bad precedent for all the courts below to follow and it can derail the course of justice. In the past, we had seen the travesty of justice caused by Jakar and Singh versus State of Punjab, AIR 1995 Supreme Court 2345, rendered by uh, Dr. A. S. Anand and M. K. Mukherjee, Dr. Anand being the author. In fact, uh, following that uh, judgment, Unmerited acquittals took place throughout the length and breadth of the country, <coughs> eventually forcing the Supreme Court itself to swim out or review its own verdict and remove the objectionable portions in the original judgment. The, the unfortunate part of it is that while most of, or almost all the law journals reported the original judgment, no law journal thought it fit to report the review judgment. In fact, the only law journal, as far as I know, which reported the review judgment was uh, the Judicial Vision, which was a bi-monthly uh, journal uh, uh, published by the Kerala Judicial Academy, which was then known as the uh, Directorate of Training, which was uh, which is a brainchild of Justice Malimut. That was only, in fact, uh, Justice. Uh, I, in fact, I have spoken on very many platforms about that judgment. And uh, Justice Karpaga Vinayagam making a very uh, bad comment about the law journals not reporting the review judgment, but still uh, um, reporting the original judgment only. Anyway, today we discuss two, two illustrations with a view to learn or unlearn the law. I am conscious of the fact that my view regarding some of the legal pro pro propositions laid down need not necessarily be the last <laughs> word on the topic. But Take it only as a different perspective from my humble point of view. That's all. Shall we go to illustrations A and B, Mr. Shyam? We can screen share. Yes. Can you? Can anyone read illustration A and B? <coughs> yes, sir. The accused, while in custody of the police, of police officer says, "I have hidden the dagger beneath the tiles of the cowshed." of my neighbor, Antony. I can show you the dagger, which is so hidden. Sir, can I go directly to illustration B or should I read whatever is written? You can read illustration B also. 
uh, the accused while in the custody of a police officer says, I have hidden the dagger in a secret place. If I am taken there, I shall show you the place and the dagger hidden there. So, see, see the distinct difference between the two illustrations. First illustration, illustration A is accused while in the custody of a police officer says, I have hidden the dagger beneath the tiles of the cowshed of my neighbor, Antony. I can show you the dagger, which is so hidden. Thereafter, the police officer, on the strength of the above information given by the accused, the police officer himself goes to the cowshed of uh, Antony, the neighbor of the accused, and takes out the dagger hidden beneath the tiles of the cowshed. Now, coming to illustration B, we'll, we'll first uh, discuss the... Uh, then, then coming to illustration B, the accused while in custody of a police officer says, I have hidden the dagger in a secret place. If I am taken there, I will show you the place and the dagger hidden there. This is a typical Kerala police style section 27 recovery, which we have been witnessing in on almost session, all session trials and other trials. The typical Kerala police recovery, section 27 recovery. Thereafter, the accused leads the police party. Accused will all have to be to lead the police party to the couch, to the place mentioned. He has not mentioned any place. He says that I know the place. I have, seen, I have hidden the uh, weapon at, at a particular secret place. If I am taken, I will show you the weapon. And he leads the police party to that place, which is known only to him, and then takes out the weapon. This is the second illustration. Now, what prompted this webinar is that recently, we, uh, on 13 10 2022, two separate verdicts by the Supreme Court of India were passed, one by a three judge bench in Ramanand Nandilal Bharati versus State of UP, 2022 SCC online Supreme Court 1396 by Justice. Uh, the judges are Uday U. Lalit, Chief Justice, CJI, S. Ravindra Bhatt, and Justice J.B. Pardiwala. Justice J.B. Pardiwala being the author of the judgment. And on the same day, yet another uh, bench, a two judges bench, Subramania versus State of Karnataka, 2022 SCC online Supreme Court 1400, Uday U. Lalit CJI and Justice J.B. Pardiwala. In fact, Justice Pardiwala is the common author of both the judgments. One is by three judges. In both the judgments, the Chief Judges of India was a party. They, they took the, the decisions are to the effect that while recording the confession statements of an accused person falling under section 27 of the Evidence Act, a panchanama should be prepared initially by the in the police at the police station, and two independent witnesses also should be called to the police station to witness the confessional statement uh, made, by, made by the accused and thereafter to witness the accused proceeding to the place of concealment of the weapon or object and taking out the same. And this also should be incorporated in the Panchanama. Towing the line, the same, towing the line of the second verdict, that is uh, the Subramanya versus State of Karnataka, in the very, another two judge bench of the Supreme Court in Bobby versus State of Kerala, 2023 live law Supreme Court 50. The judges are B.R. Gowai, Gowai and M.M. Sundaresh, the author being <coughs> Gowai. They have acquitted the appellant therein, a third accused, for the reason that no panjanama was prepared while recording the confidential statement of the appellant accused. Appellant was the third accused in that case. A perusal of paragraph 2.3 of that verdict shows that exhibit P23 was the disclosure statement of the appellant in that case. In spite of that, the apex court held that the confidential statement could not be looked into for want of a panjanama. In my article on that uh, on the three judge ruling, I have taken pains to show that the law laid down in that case to the effect that there should be a panchanama and two independent witnesses <coughs> is contrary to the settled positions of law and that same is likely to set a bad precedent. In fact, the apprehended danger, the danger which I apprehended in that article took place in the at the very same Supreme Court, in the, before the very same Supreme Court itself in Bobby versus State of Kerala where the disclosure statement of the accused was not accepted for want of a panchanama. I had occasion to emphasize on several occasions about the mode of proof of a statement falling under Section 27 of the Evidence Act. It is not my view. It's all based on the 
uh, decisions of the Supreme Court. Police officers cannot be expected to possess any photographic memory to remember the various steps of investigation conducted by them in each and every case. That is the reason why they prepare contemporaneous records incorporating the various measures taken by them during the course of investigation. A Panchanama or a Mahasar is one such record, similarly calling one or two independent witnesses to witness the giving of the disclosure statement by the accused and to witness the recovery of the incriminating articles by or at the instance of the accused is, to be, is, to, is only to gain credibility to the actions taken by the investigating officer. In, in the ancient justice system administered at the village level in India, a group of five elected and learned members of the village would preside over and decide a dispute among the villagers. The said group of five was called Panch, and their proceedings recorded on paper was often called the Panchanama. Panchanama has relevance only under section 100, subsection 4, when a search of a closed place is carried out. Early it was called Me Mediator Nama. Mediator Nama was the earlier, which presumably after the AR contribution became Mediato Mama <laughs> in paragraph 13 of Pulukuri Kotaya. I don't know which Mama is that. The Supreme Court has clarified that section 100 clause 6, subsection 4, CRPC has no application to a recovery falling under section 27 of the Evidence Act. So section 100 act, clause 4 has no application at all to a section 27 recovery because that involves a search of a closed place. Whereas this is a, this is not a search at all. This, this is a uh, situation where the accused is making a, a statement about the fact discovered and the weapon is weapon or the incriminating object is discovered pursuant to that statement. That is why the Supreme Court in in uh, paragraph 19 of State of NCT of Delhi versus Sunil, Justice uh, Sup Supreme Court speaking through Justice Katie Thomas in R.P. Sethi. Justice Thomas, Justice Thomas is the author of the judgment. 2001. Volume 1, SEC 652, uh, held that there is no, Section 104 has no application at all. Then there is no question of any Panchanama being prepared for the Section 27 recovery. The law does not require any Panchanama to be prepared or any independent witness to be called in connection with recovery falling under Section 27 of the Evidence Act. What the investigating officer is expected to do is to make prompt entries in the case diary itself about the various steps of investigation taken. Thereafter, months or years later, when he is uh, giving evidence before court during the trial of the case, he can refresh his memory by perusing the case diary. This is permissible under Section 159 of the Evidence Act. The interdict under Section 162 on CRPC against the user of case diary statement is lifted by subsection 2 of Section 162 CRPC in the case of a statement falling under section 27 of the evidence act in fact section 20 a statement falling under section 27 and a statement a dying declaration falling under section 321 is exempted from the interdict under section 1621 therefore the, the police officer can definitely refer to his diary statement and he can refresh his memory during while giving evidence by by having resort to section 159 of the evidence act this right available to the investigating officer under section 159 of the Evidence Act has been highlighted in State of Karnataka versus Yarappa Reddy, AR 2000 Supreme Court 185, AR 2000 Supreme Court 185, Justice Katie Thomas again. Uh, uh, and then it, has, it was repeated by the Supreme Court in AR 2015 Supreme Court 3530. Of course, that is not for the investigating officer uh, by Justice Gopala Gowda and uh, Justice Banumadi, Justice Gopala Gowda being the uh, the author of the judgment. So my answer to illustrations A and B. In illustration A, the accused person in his disclosure statement given while in the custody of the police officer has revealed the place of concealment of the weapon. The police officer who was in the dark about the place of concealment of the weapon until the accused revealed the same was able to find out the weapon from the information supplied by the accused and the officer could himself recover the weapon without any further help, cooperation, or assistance by the accused. In other words, in illustration A, the information given by the accused 
to the officer to the police officer in whose custody he was he is he is has revealed the information has revealed a fact discovered discovered a fact discovered within the meaning of section 27 the classic interpretation of section 27 of the evidence act by sir john beaumont speaking for the privy council in the celebrated pulukuri kotaya versus king emperor a year 1947 privy council page 67 is to the effect that fact discovered is not the weapon or object discovered but it embraces the place from where the weapon or object is produced and the knowledge of the accused regarding the said place so place where the object is concealed or from where the object is produced and the knowledge rather the exclusive knowledge of the accused regarding that place these two components constitute fact discovered not the object in fact privy council is making fun of the some high courts in the in india by saying that fact discovered is not the weapon discovered weapons were discovered many many years ago that's not the weapon then <coughs> there is a for, uh, further statement weapons were discovered many many years ago section 27 which is considered to be a proviso to the preceding two sections reads i we will read section 27 how much of information received from accused may be proved see how beautifully couched the section provided that when any fact is deposed to as discovered in consequence of information received from a person accused of any offense in the custody of a police officer so much of such information whether it amounts to a confession or not as relates distinctly to the fact thereby discovered may be proved you will find the expression fact discovered twice used used twice in the section now in 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 uh, supreme court itself has um, held that the the section 27 is founded on the doctrine of confirmation by subsequent events you may refer to bodhraj versus state of jammu and kashmir air 2002 supreme court 3164 rendered by justice arijit pasai on behalf of the bench 2002 supreme court 3164 again 2000 raja versus state of haryana 2015 volume 11 acc 43 2015 volume 11 acc 43 deepak misra and justice nv ramana deepak misra is the author of the judgment so a close reading of section of the section shows that fact discovered should be there in the information received from an accused person while in the custody of the police officer and it is this information already given by the accused to the police officer while in custody which gets confirmed by the subsequent recovery therefore illustration a thereby clearly falls under section 27 of the evidence act in illustration b the accused in his statement given while in the custody of the police officer has not revealed the place of concealment of the weapon at all until the accused led the police party to the place of concealment of the weapon and to count the weapon that place continued to be a secret for the police officer in other words in illustration b the accused did not give any information regarding the fact discovered while he was in the custody of the police officer while giving the information if the accused does not reveal the place where the incriminating object is concealed by him there is no information given about the fact discovered on the contrary the accused is revealing to reserving to himself the the fact discovered till he himself leads the police party to that spot and takes out the weapon from the hiding place illustration b is actually in line with the recovery made in ramanand versus nandilal bardi's case that three judge bench decision there also he did not reveal the place in fact uh, he only took the police party to that place therefore uh, the the three judge bench in that case held that since a panchanama is not substantive evidence its content cannot be uh, cannot be uh, have to be proved this the inside the three judge bench also held that panchanama the contents of a panchanama cannot be uh, come on record unless it is spoken to by the investigating officer and they held that the investigating officer in that case did not speak about the contents of the panchanama which is not substantive evidence however strangely enough the three judge bench has extracted the contents of the entire panjanama in paragraph 57 of the verdict i don't know how hence illustration b according to me does not fall under section 27 of the evidence act at best 
the action of the accused in illustration b amount may amount to a conduct provable under section 8 of the evidence act it is these two decisions which uh, uh, impelled me to come out with this webinar thank you for your patient hearing my sound has started cracking <laughs> thank you sir uh, ramashan sir no there is no doubt regarding the proposition laid spoken to by justice ram kumar because of the decision and also the section so some clarity is because even when the the in the one of the judgments by justice lalit himself said that section 27 is only the fact record there mm -hmm. two statements were given one is place where i committed the murder and other the place where i i have uh, uh, kept the weapon and i throw the weapon and take it a knife and take it, i will show you the place so in that the first part was uh, uh, not accepted by the court because it in self incriminating circumstances i do not know when the judgments were rendered there, there must there must be some See, even when the, the discussions were made i think the section 27 was correctly interpreted but when the decision came the, it was wrongly rendered it appears <laughs> i have in fact i have concealed the weapon with which i stabbed so and so no, with that which i stabbed it is inadmissible that inculpatory part of the statement is inad inadmissible or the the the, uh, the stick with which i bet so and so to death with which i bet so and so to death he is in is in fact the uh, of course section 27 says whether it amount to a confession or not that has been explained by pulukuri kutaya itself they said that where the statement contains a, a the, where the statement in, involves possession or concealment i have kept the for example i have kept the ganja in my bedroom supposing the accused were to say i have kept the ganja in my bedroom where possession of ganja itself is an offense therefore supreme the privy council said uh, um, um, firearm possession of a firearm itself is an offense so i have kept the gun or firearm in such and such place means that itself amount to an offense it is such an offense with such a uh, crime which is which is uh, mentioned about whether it amount to an offense or, uh, confession or not so that part that confession alone is comprehended by section 27 not any confession therefore the weapon with which i killed so and so is inadmissible and uh, the it should, the the statement should distinctly relate to the uh, discovery of the fact discovery of the place from where the weapon is recovered that alone is admissible no even say the even in the 2023 decision yes it was mentioned the all the decisions are referred to unfortunately the ya panjanama and supreme court itself has said that panjanama is for only under section search Search all of a closed place. Twenty-seven has been reiterated there. Yes, section is uh, section is extracted. Ulukuri Kota is extracted. Unfortunately, and this is what. Ultimately, they... when the decision came, uh, different uh, finding was different. That's all. And mind you, following the very same observation, uh, another bench uh, acquitted the accused. In fact, that was a case where there is a disclosure statement, mm -hmm. but for want of a panchanama, accused has been acquitted. You know, probably, I think that the 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 public prosecutors or the lawyers who are appearing for the state or the prosecution were not able to convince the Supreme Court about the position and also the But, documents that has been available on record. There isn't. Mind you, it is a three-judge bench, binding on all courts in India, including magistrates, session judges, even high courts, even the Supreme Court. Supreme Court. Another, the anti-lethal, a larger bench is constituted. Bench. it is binding even on a three judge bench of the supreme court when well, law that is that. that is why i, I uh, added, added a caveat of course judges when making judgments reportable they should think 10 times because any principle of law laid down should, is binding on all courts in india yes so virupaksha gowda sir yes unmute sir Uh, yeah please yeah yes sir your yes. Your, your thoughts on this sir uh, the second the second illustration also probably uh, mm -hmm. would amount to uh, information given by the accused when when he was in the custody he did not give the fact discovered he he led them he led them to the place 
so that it total amount only under section 8 Contact. contact contact to the person that he, he knows the place he will have to explain and under what circumstances he come to know about the same the a information statement be, a statement need not be moral statement or verbal statement Maybe. but uh, no so section 27 co um, contemplates an information Infer and inform information should be regarding the fact discovered which means the place where the weapon is concealed and the exclusive knowledge of the accused regarding that place which he did not con 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 convey to the police officer. Sir, Panchanama should be recorded uh, uh, both on the first occasion and on the second occasion. That is what, that's what, the, what, that's what the three judge bench decision <laughs> says. Where, when there are earlier decisions of the Supreme Court saying that law does not require any Panchanama, law does not require any independent witness to witness the, the confessional statement, to witness the recovery, etc. These are all that is not there in the law. These are all done by the investigating officers only as a co contemporaneous record so that they can re recollect it. They can they, they, may, they may be giving evidence after months or years. So they will have to remember. But then there is the case diary as Justice Katie Thomas held. Case diary is there. They can make entries. And the ones, 162 one bar, the bar under 162 one has no application to case diary statements because of the um, um, the bar has been lifted. The ban has been lifted under Section 162. Therefore, they can re rely on the. They can refresh their memories, memory by looking into the case diary. Even in, the, in, one the of the Supreme, in one of the Supreme Court decisions, it has been the entire uh, the 162 statement, which where the the portion of the uh, um, confession statement leading the recovery has to be produced. That was also the some decision says. I don't remember probably. We may be able to enlighten on that. In fact, the primary <laughs> primary evidence is the deposition of the investigating officer or the witnesses. And thereafter, so, you will have to mark that portion alone, not the entire thing. Exactly. That is what it was uh, held in one of the decisions. And the inadmissible portions have to be separated, has to be excluded from being recorded, should not come on record. Yes. Very nicely drawn distinction between A and B. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. The lip, sir. Uh, I only wanted to clarify because that is my view, and uh, I you, all of you need not uh, follow or accept my view. But then, then the the the, the, the uh, practicing lawyers and judges also will come to know about the distinction between section 27 and section 8. They should know the distinction between section 28, 27, and section no, 8 will, of the. No, no, that will require only when you are appearing for the prosecution or for the accused. Yes. Normally, the lawyer appearing for the defense will rely on the other and say that it will come. It will not well come or not come. <laughs> See, I had I had an occasion. I don't know whether Ramkumar has heard it or not. Brother has heard it or not. The the Indian Law Institute, uh, the Kerala edition, they had a discussion on the DNA uh, this thing other thing. See, the lawyer who was taking class is taking only about the lacuna that is being done mm. and how the cross-examination on that aspect has to be made for the purpose of benefiting the law accused. But they did not say how the, when the technology is to be applied and the Supreme Court also said when the technology is being uh, invented for the purpose of uh, what you call getting the scientific evidence on uh, uh, the uh, finding out the, uh, the incriminating circumstances or li like that, then you are expected to give up a, 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 what you call class as to how that technology will ought to be utilized by the investigating officer to make it foolproof. Yes, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way in which it was taken was otherwise. And uh, when a wrong verdict is rendered, the 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 news travels faster <laughs> because <laughs> because the defense lawyers will be entitled will be will be eager to see that their cases are also. Um, and, and in acquittal, they, because they know that it, it, will, it will have a short life only. It will be a short-lived judgment. So before that judgment is overruled, if the lawyers will take advantage. In fact, that precisely what happened in the Supreme Court. Uh, every lawyer has to sub, uh, protect his client's interest. Therefore, when there is a wrong judgment, whether it is right or wrong, if it is in, in his favor, the lawyer will definitely take advantage of the judgment. That is precisely what happened 
after the three judge and two judge bench decision absolutely sir and it is and uh, fortunately or unfortunately it was a case from kerala bobby versus tito kerala <laughs> yes dilip sir your comments good evening sir regarding 27 or even the criminal part of it i am not so conversant but still what is exactly proved by under section recovery under section 27 is it the material object recovered or the place of origin place and the knowledge of the accused regarding that place not the not the material object recovered no that is why the privy council may was make me that is sir john beaumont was making one of the some of the high courts in india the, the, the fact discovered is not the weapon recovered yes fact discovered is not the weapon recovered weapon discovered because weapons were discovered long ago <laughs> yes weapons were discovered long ago it is not the weapon discovered but the place from where the weapon has been produced and the exclusive knowledge of the accused regarding that place which was either to unknown to the police officer police officer was in the dark about the place of concealment it was only the accused who revealed the place of concealment in fact there are decisions to the effect that when the accused reveals the place of concealment he need not uh, lead the police party to that place it is the officer himself can uh, recover the place recover the weapon or the incriminating substance from the place of concealment revealed by the accused in fact in one decision kerala high court justice speaking through justice patnavan said the officer can send a subordinate the police yes. officer can one of his subordinate send send the police officer can the police officer who recorded the uh, once it, the uh, disclosure statement can send one of his subordinates to the place and get the weapon recovered in fact mm -hmm. that decision came to my rescue in a triple murder case at uh, todubuda where where the the uh, contention was that the disclosure statement was given to the circle inspector but the recovery was made by the district superintendent of police a dsp he wanted to uh, make, make, uh, shine make it he wanted to take the credit of the recovery so he took the uh, accused to the police at ernakulam and from subhash park the weapon was recovered and the argument came promptly here is a case where the discover disclosure statement is given to the circle inspector but the recovery is made from, by the uh, sub, district superintendent of police that was met by me by holding that there is a decision that is need, it is not necessary that the officer to whom the disclosure statement has been made should himself record to himself take out the weapon he can send any any person to get, because the the fact discovered has already been revealed So it's a fact to disclose that is true. Fact to disclose disclosed by the accused to the investigating officer. To the officer has to be proved by the investigating officer, and it is there is no need for preparing any panchanama, calling independent witness etc. That's all done by the officers just to have credibility for their action and also to have a record. But that record is there in the CD case diary. Case diary they make the record, right. and the the case diary statement, the interdict under section one fifty two one. Does not apply to the case diary statement because of the uh, that a ban has been lifted by subsection two to section one sixty two. The thing recovered there need not also necessarily be weapon. Can no, be, it can be the the, the dead body, the 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 object, or, this object, subject matter or, of the or crime, or something like that. Or, or any can any, be, any incriminating object. It can be the subject matter of theft. Yes. It, it can be. any incriminating material not blood, blood, blood stained, stained clothes blood, 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 blood stained clothes of the accused or the deceased all those things can yes, that's all thank you thank you dilip sir now over to you prem well now uh, it was such an informative talk how do you say about mediator mama ha ah, yeah mediator mama another type of mama <laughs> and as usual by justice ram kumar and although this is a huge topic with a complicated scope because of the divergent rulings by the supreme court now we are clear in our mind grasping what is the real dynamics of section 27 by your brilliant articulation sir thank you so much for that and just well to summarize confining myself just to what we have discussed today As we all know, Section Twenty Five of the Evidence Act that mandates 
that no confession which is made to a police officer it shall be proved as against the accused and section 26 that provides that uh, confession made by an accused person while in the police custody that cannot be proved against him now we see section 27 with which we are concerned today that really counts out an exception providing that when a fact is deposed to us discover consequent to an information which is received from the person who is accused of the offence and while he is in the custody of the police officer then so much of such information even if it amounts to confession or not as it relates distinctly to the fact thereby discovered it can be proved now we can see from the very wording of section 27 itself it is very clear that this section it's a proviso to sections 25 and 26 and of course i am mindful of the fact there are a few supreme court judgments not only supreme court by the high courts also which are held that section 27 is an exception to sections 24 25 and 26 which in my humble opinion they are patently wrong and it runs counter to the elementary principles section 24 what i think is that does not even come into picture even to the slightest extent well we can see in patra narayan swami's case which is ar 1930 39 uh, 20 council page 47 there it was held that section 27 that appears to be intended as a proviso to section 26 26 in it said patra narayan sir which the supreme court in uday bhan ar 1962 supreme court 2016 speaking for justice kapoor the supreme court wrote on the whole that section 27 that is in the nature of a proviso to section 26 which interdicts the provision of the confessional statements made by a person in custody of the police and now just as jan kumar explained ulukuri kotaya versus emperor ar 947 to recount 67 the most important judgment which are elaborately dealt with the ambitan school of section 27 even though i would use the word elaborate it's a concise judgment but very succinctly put a judgment which has been made by a four member bench speaking through sir john bimon and this judgment was delivered we can see this was delivered on 19th of december 1946 but the innocence of the judgment it was delivered by the privy council only on the 5th of february 1947 and purukuri kotaya that again the supreme court in mohan uh, vinayakulla ar 1976 supreme court 483 mohan vinayakulla i think it was justice sarkarian he also observed that section 27 is an exception to sections 25 and 26 as has been stated in purukuri kotaya yes Has stated in Purikiri Court there. Now it is 25 and 26, and because both sections 25 and 26, they do have the very same spirit, and thus section 27 is treated as a proviso to both these se- particular sections. Now, as we know, section 24 that nearly excludes a confession caused by certain inducements, threats, and promises. But a three judges bench, I would say, a three judges bench, no one in Malaysia. Which is an off-quoted decision, the three judges bench of 1966, AR 1966 Supreme Court 119. I don't remember the page number. 119, I think so. Now that is the ju- judgment by Justice Jagubir Bhaiya. Who is a party to the bench judgment which I have right now referred. Now, along with Justice Subramanian and Justice Bachawa, with Justice Bachawa speaking for the bench, who is going to say that Section 27 was in the form of a proviso? And that it partially lifted the ban which was imposed by Section 24 as well. Now we can see it is by way of the Section 27 we have the statements which mean the general parlance we call the disclosure statements, which lead to the discovery of the facts which are presumably in the exclusive knowledge of the maker of such a statement. And of course, Section 27 being vulnerable to abuse, and because it is allegedly Often misused by the investigating agencies, the Supreme Court has cautioned the courts to be vigilant in its application because 
you have to ensure the credibility of the evidence by the police. Now, don't catch me wrong. Uh, it's not that a statement made under Section 27 it needs to be viewed with suspicion. I'm not saying like that. But there are certain, because courts have to be vigilant, because you should ensure the credibility of the evidence. And as uh, Ramkumar Sir has told us, even the highest court of our country went doctrinally wrong in Jatavans, 1995 Supreme Court 2355. It was held that the disclosure statement in that particular case that inspired absolutely no confidence for the fact that the two punch witnesses, uh, uh, they were not examined at the trial. And secondly, because the disclosure statement, as well as the recovery memo, that did not bear the signature from the thumb impression of the accused in that particular case. Now, this judgment was clarified after a year. And of course, as Justice Dr. Marshall said, the clarification judgment that was not published by the leading publishers. But kindly see, another thing happens. The first judgment in signature, the wrong decision which was promoted by the Supreme Court, that was again was reported by SEC. In 1997, CC criminal page 651. After the review. <laughs> and section 27, that all of us know that incorporates the theory of confirmation. <laughs> that is the statements that are made in the custom custody. They are admissible to the extent that they can be proved by the subsequent discovery of the facts. And unlike the Miranda warnings, which we see in the United States, in Indian law, there is no automatic presumption that custodial statements are extracted through compulsion. And there is no requirement of some, uh, what do you call it, uh, additional diligence, because that would be akin to the administration of Miranda warnings, which originates from the Miranda versus Arizona ruling of 1966 of the US Supreme. And as we know, uh, this is a judgment which has had an extremely overwhelming influence in our courts when they are being confronted with uh, Section 27 of the Evidence Act. Now, in, if you read Pulikuri Kotaya, in paragraph number 9, because this is often the Supreme Court also commits certain uh, blunders, because even though we saw a three judge bench, committing one of the blunders. Now, panel 9 at 4, the Privy Council goes on to observe that not only Section 27 that is brought into operation, when a person in police custody produces from some place of concealment, some object, it could be a dead body, it could be a weapon, ornaments, whatever is connected with the time of which that particular person is accused. Then we see after a very short discussion, running to hardly three lines, the Privy Council goes on to see goes on to see that it is fallacious to treat that the fact discovered within Section 27 is equivalent to the object which is produced and the fact discovered that embraces the place from which the object is produced and the knowledge of the particular refuse regarding this particular fact. Now, the disclosure statement of the accused in Pulikuri Kotaya case, we see that uh, extracted at paragraph 12 of the judgment. I'm not sure of the paragraph. Paragraph 12 or paragraph 13. So, Bolton uh, it nearly runs like uh, around 10 to 14 days back. Myself, then uh, Kotaya and some other people, we waited for uh, Shivaya and others at the coronation of uh, Mark, from Pumiya, Sarpaya, and Narayana, they ran away to be dead, Shivaya and Subhaya to death. Then, he was also said that Ramiya, who was a party, with them, he received blows on his hands, and he had a spear also in his hands. Ramiya gave the spear, spear to me, and I have hidden that spear on my stick in the lake of uh, Vengar Manishu, and I will show you if you come with me. Now, see what the Privy Council held. The Privy Council, without much discussion, because the judges were very clear in their mind, they held 
that the whole statement except the passage. I will hit it. I hit it means the spear. I can only stick in the middle of window in the shoe. And I will show you if you come. That is not visible. And please see another important observation by the Hindi Council, which explains the probative force of the information being made at least in the section 27. It was held that except in cases in which the possession or concealment of an object constitutes the gist of the offense with which an accused is charged, it can seldom happen that the information relating to the discovery of a fact that forms the foundation of the prosecution case. And it is only one link in the chain of proof. And of course, that means it can be forced in the moment which is permitted by law. And kindly see, in this particular judgment, there were lordships. There was an agreement over two judgments. One judgment by the High Court of Lahore, that is the 1931 judgment in Sukhan versus Emperor. And that was the 1932 judgment of Shibe High Court in Ganon Chandra's case. A particular view was taken by the Madras High Court going through these decisions in Art of the Governor's case. That's the year 1937, Madras, page 60. That particular view was not accepted. Because in Art of the Governor, Chief Justice Beasley, who was answering a reference, he held that part of the confessional statement which revealed the connection between objects produced and the commission of murder in that case, that was held to be admissible under Section 27 in its entirety. And see, the Ruby Council criticized this particular approach. At the same time, if we read Ganu Chandra Kashi versus Emperor, AR 1932, Bombay 286, which is spent by Sir Dumont himself along with Lord Murphy. Uh, he got on the hold in that case that the fact discovered within the meaning of Section 27 must be some concrete fact to which an information directly relates. And in that particular case, such fact was the production of a certain property which had been concealed. This is during 1932. And after 15 years, he changed his mind. And kindly see Sukhan versus Emperor, the 29th language decision, which I cited. It's a AR 1929 language 344. That was the full bench decision. Seven judges of the Lahore Rai. The, the full bench overall the judgment in Ganu Chandra Kashi, that is Lord Newman's statement himself, which is just this, Shadi Lal. He goes on to hold that the first discovery that can be a stolen property or an instrument of a crime or a corpse of a person who is murdered. So what will be the material thing? Or it may be a material thing in relation to the place or the locality in which it is found. Now, as we know, Pulipuri Kotaya, that was well explained by Justice K.T. Thomas in uh, State of Maharashtra versus Dhamu, 2000, Volume 6, SEC 269. Now, another judgment of the Supreme Court, which really confuses us, is Om Prakash. H.P.O. Oh, yes. Prakash, AR 972, Supreme Court 975. Justice Jatlo Reddy. He goes on to hold that the fact discovered within the meaning of Section 27 in that particular case was not the dagger, but the dagger that was hidden under the stone, which was not known to the police. Now, this judgment is highly debatable, and I have got my own reservations. Also, what I would say is that Punipuri uh, Kopaya, which is a local classicus, it has set the first. What would be the controversy that had centered around the interpretation of Section 27? To the first extent, and legal position now stands crystallized. Now we can see the authority which has been laid down in Kulipuri Kotaya that has not been even seriously challenged in any of the decisions of the highest court in India, either in the pre-independence era or in the post-independence era. And till date, the passages of this locus classicus they are being approvingly quoted and reiterated by the Supreme Court and the High Courts. As Ram Kumar sir said, what a beautiful exposition of law has been made by just Lord Dumont. 
Thank you all for the patient listening. Thank you, Prem. A wonderful uh, encapsulation of the entire thing. Beautiful. Uh, Hussein has joined. Hussein, uh, you want to have a comment? Sir, I have a very small query, sir. Uh, in section 27, sir, these three words trouble me a lot. So much of such information. I, uh, I I cannot decipher as to why Sir James Stephen used this particular word so much of such information. Why why the words such information whether it amounts to a confession? No, no 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 that part of the information that so much means that part of the in, uh, information which distinctly relate to the fact thereby discovered alone is admissible. That is why they stress so much. Only that part of the the entire in, the information is not admissible. That's why they explain the entire information. This is the, I have, I, I have hidden the weapon. I have hidden the knife with which I stabbed so and so at such and such a place. If I am taken there, I will show you the weapon and the place means with which I stabbed. That is not admissible. Absolutely. But supposing it is a, it is a firearm. I have hidden the firearm. That, that the, the fact that he was in possession of the firearm itself is an offense. Yes, that that in such a case I don't see whether it amounts to a confession or not. That expression will apply only to such cases where even the possession or concealment of the, uh, of the statement mentioning about the possession or concealment itself is an offense under law. For example, firearm or a ganja or a narcotic drug, psychotropic substance. I I, I have hid it in my in my office room, me or in the decay of my car or in the dashboard of my car. That means the moment he, the, the very fact that he has hit it means he was in possession. So that itself is an offense. Only such things where you can't uh, separate, you cannot uh, se segregate that part from the rest of the statement. In such case, they don't, whether it amounts to an offense will apply. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as we come to the end of the 200 and 83rd session. Thank you, Justice Ramkumar, sir, for this uh, wonderful, uh, uh, precise presentation on a specific aspect. Uh, thank you, uh, Ramakrishnan, sir. Thank you, Virupaksha Gauda, sir. Thank you, each and every one of you for being part of this journey of discovery, enlightenment, and uh, interaction. Till we meet again next week, please do take care and stay safe. Thank you. Are you sure? Next week? <laughs> Definitely, sir. Definitely. Okay. Vijay <laughs> also is here. Pardon? Oh, Vijay. Uh, yeah. Oh, hi, Vijay. Uh, hello. Vijay is on you mute. After a long time. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Me also. <laughs> I think <Yeah>. criminalized. <laughs> sir, sir, I had the privilege of meeting all uh, Vijay uh, and um, our... Um, uh, uh, I think you went to uh, Somaya's uh, okay. uh, daughter's marriage. No, uh, yeah. no, no, not that. Uh, even before that, I had another function in Hyderabad. We all met together. Uh, there was uh, Cotton Ram sir also. And, I see. Uh, all of us. <laughs> it was a wonderful uh, uh, evening or rather night life. <laughs> okay. But I did have an occasion to go through section 27. Though I don't do much of criminal law, but I couldn't. Uh, there was so much, so much of confusion with regard to these uh, Supreme Court judgments as to what exactly uh, right. yeah. the scope of 27. That much I could make out. That uh, there is a, uh, too much of confusion. Exactly. In fact, uh, yes. all all judgments quote Ulikuri uh, Kotaya, but then they violate. Yeah, there is a lot of contradiction as to the interpretation and what the purport of Section 27. I mean. It's quite difficult to understand what exactly they mean. It is only the jugglery of words that has been used in section 27 is being repeated in all the decisions. That's all. Okay. okay, sir. Okay, Vijay. Thank you. And uh, thank you, everybody. We'll meet next week. Sure. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.